Hello guys. So today we're going to do some pruning and staking. We will be pruning our tomato plants and we will be staking them and staking our eggplants and pepper plants also. So you see I have some trellis here. They're very heavy duty, very strong. I have them for years, but I don't have enough. So I'll be using these over here. I have a six feet. It's made out of steel and it's coated with some kind of hard plastic. And I have some four feet for the pepper plants. I got these from Amazon guys. I had I had some since last summer and I love them so I got some more. And we will be using this pruner here. And I also have a velcro wrap here, a tie. It has a cutter also. You cut the length that you need to um tie your plants wrap your plants around the stake so let's get started guys we're gonna be pruning first so guys this is what I'm working here with this is an indeterminate beef steak tomato plant and I will be pruning this one here because I have small space and I'm growing vertically so we wouldn't have no messy and bushy plant going on we will get some nice big tomatoes and a beautiful harvest so let me show you what I'm gonna be pruning off this plant I'm gonna be taking off this sucker here all these little ones here one two there is one in the back here three there's another one here four four sucker and um we're gonna be taking off all the bottom leaves one two three four and i'll be working with two main stem let me show you this one here And this one here so I'll be working with this two main stem over here and I'm gonna be sticking up one onto this stick here and the other one on this stick over here okay guys because it gets heavy when it start bearing so let me stick this let me finish pruning this one and I will show you don't get confused here I'm gonna show you what's really a sucker a sucker is a little plant and a little additional plant between the main stem and the leaf this is leaf and between the leaf and the main stem that's a sucker and this one here is a sucker this is the main stem and this is a sucker and this is the leaf. Between the leaf and the main stem, this is a sucker. I'm keeping one sucker. It's your choice if you want to prune or if you want to leave the plant bushy. But I tried this before and you get small tomatoes, which is good. No problem there. It's up to you, your choice. This is another tomato plant and I'm going to show you the sucker on this plant. It's your choice guys, but this is how I do it. So this is the leaf. These are the leaves. This is the main, the main stem. This is a sucker coming out between the leaf and the main stem. There's another sucker here too. Right here coming out between the leaf and the main stem and this is the main stem here 
this one and this is this is a sucker coming out between the leaf the leaf and the main stem most likely I will keep this two one the main stem and this sucker up here okay guys guys I take off all the flower a week ago no worries there's more flower on the tree there's flowers everywhere on the tree so don't be afraid there's more flowers over there this one is a determinant tomato plant it's a beef steak also I'm gonna just stake this plant and I'm not gonna prune it because I never grow a determinant tomato and I just want to try one so let's see what happens with this one I will not prune it I will just take off the bottom leaves that's touching the ground and I will just take this one guys and see what happens here you go guys two more eggplant in this large container here already have two medium steak trellis it will grow up here it will help the um, eggplant because they get very heavy with all those big food on it so this is good here I don't have to stick it two more eggplant here I will definitely have to stake these because I don't have no more trellis like those heavy duty one over there and you can see it has a few main stem and each main stem I will put a stake to hold it up when it starts fruiting and guys it already has flowers on it you see it already have more flowers on it last week I took all the flower off and there's more flower on it they grow very fast they produce a lot of fruit so you need to stick the plants I usually put one stick on each main stem so I'll be using this eight feet I mean six feet stick yeah six feet stick for my eggplants I will be using some on my mini garden too let's talk pepper here guys my pepper plant went through a lot with the coal air we had come through the cold weather in May and they stopped growing I thought I was gonna lose them but no worries they're coming strong they already have flowers on them too so I'll be staking these later because they're they're little they're little Some still. more struggling peppers here one tree really gives a lot of pepper so you don't have to worry I have just a few they're coming up they're doing good so far so this is it guys I finished pruning this one you see there's no leaves in the bottom I'm finished with the eggplant I take off all the bottom leaves and I stake it up here because they grow very tall this is the six feet stake also in my mini garden I have a little um, trellis here for the cucumber we're gonna prune the cucumber because we don't want it bushy in our mini garden and this is a cherry tomato and we have a steak for it right here and if I need more steak I have permanent tomato gonna go up here I don't know if it's gonna be that tall and then I put a new trellis here for my spinach my husband made this one for me so I put three steak in this pot because I have three eggplants in here I have two more in here and the rest of the tomato will go up these trellis here compost all the tomato leaves because there's no disease on them thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video